Ballet dancing is Ethan Meyer's passion, starting formal training when he was just four years old. His parents enrolled him in class at the Oregon Ballet Theater. And that's when we truly found out that, hey, this was meant for me. <laughs> there was a moment when he knew he made the right choice. Watching the Oregon Ballet Theater's Nutcracker really stood out to me because it was the first ballet I'd ever seen. And just seeing the guys, massive jumps, huge turns, all that part, right? And I was like, well, that, that is what I want to do. He's one of 17 students to earn a scholarship this year from the Beaverton Arts Foundation. He's graduating from Beaverton's Arts Communication Magnet Academy. He'll attend Harvard in the fall, although he's not sure what that will look like. I think we're going to try and do the most normal we can. And if that means, you know, the first month virtual, all right. But, you know, we're going to make it the best we can. The journey to this point has not always been easy. But there was a big pushback. A lot of kids didn't understand why I was into ballet. They're like, yo, come join our soccer team. Come join our swim team. Why aren't you in lacrosse? Dude, join basketball, man. What's in ballet? As he got older and friends saw him perform, that changed. They see my euphoria. They see that joy that I bring to the stage. And they're like, yeah, Ethan was made for the stage. <laughs> the thrill he gets while dancing has made it all worthwhile. I feel like I'm on the top of the world. I feel like my friends and I are standing there together giving a one last bow. or standing at the top of the clouds looking down and you know, just that joy. <laughs> just like sun is on our face. He has a plan for the future. So I want to create my own dance studio dedicated to at-risk youth. I want to help those in need in my community and other communities and give uh, the youth the same opportunities I had. He hopes to come back to the Portland area when he graduates to help inspire a passion for dance in others. Art Edwards, KGW News.